the most powerful ClickFunnels features is the ability to charge credit cards and add upsells and downsells. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect your ClickFunnels account with a Stripe account so you can start processing payments. And not just that, I'm also gonna give you access to a $297 Funnel Academy course for free. Once again, here we go. Know the name of the flow. Turn me up a little more. Go right here into my account settings and I got payment gateways. Before you are able to, uh, before you are able to process any payment inside of ClickFunnels, you need to have a payment uh, a payment gateway. Now there are two ways to do that. You can either set up your Stripe account ahead of time and then come to uh, ClickFunnels and within your product page, you'll be able to do it right there. So let me show you what I mean. In order to do that, I'm gonna need a sales page where a credit card information is processed because otherwise there's no place to add a product, right? So you're able to collect names, emails, the full address, which is huge. And we'll come and you'll have to, we'll have to go into the product. So the reason that I had to add this order form is, for example, in a thank you page, I have no um, product tab in here, right? The moment I hit the order page, all of a sudden a product tabs arrives, right? So I hit products. And right in here, you can add a new product to the funnel step. So you click add product and I'm not gonna go through what's the product examples now. What I care about is the payment integration, right? And you can see in here, it says Marion Asano and that's my, my own, you know, my personal Stripe account. If I would not have this payment gateway already created, ClickFunnels would allow me to still click Stripe. And when I hit that button for Stripe, it would redirect me to actually creating a brand new Stripe account. So you have two ways to do this. You can either create a brand new payment gateway, like I said, you come right here into the payment gateway and you add a new payment gateway. Oh, I already have three, okay. So I'm not gonna be able to walk you through the process exactly now, but it's super easy. It's just gonna ask you what kind of payment gateway and they only integrate, I think, with uh, Stripe, Braintree, um, WooCommerce, uh, I think it's Strive Car 2. I don't remember from the top of my head now because it's been a while since I only had these three. And then um, that's why sometimes you just need to really prioritize which are the accounts that are actually making money. Um, going back to the funnel itself, if you don't have a payment gateway added, it's going to allow you to add one within, um, within the software. Okay, so let's go back to the product real quick. So we hit product. And then we're going to be able to add this Stripe integration right here. You're gonna add the actual price. So actually let's do this. I'm just gonna hit next. You have to click actually. Then. So it's gonna ask you what it is. Is it a subscription? Is it a membership site that people pay monthly? Is it a payment plan that people are allowed to pay, you know, three, four times? Or is it just a one-time product, right? I'm just gonna click one time for now for the sake of this tutorial. And you're gonna have to add a price, right? Like let's add the price of 997. Don't worry too much about all these now. Again, if you would have an order bump on the bottom and you want that product to be shown there, you need to click this tab. So save and close. And now we have a product added and the price is 997. So now we can literally like somebody can actually buy from us, right? Always a thousand percent. You want to hit test mode for the first 10, 15, 20 times. You want to go to the product. You want to go to the funnel yourself. And the reason that you want to do that is you never know. Sometimes the product may be set up wrong. Sometimes it doesn't work the way that you want. So what you want to do is once you put it in, in a test mode, you want to test it out. ClickFunnels is going to allow you to use a test credit card. It's going to allow you to use a test credit card for you to be able to process, right? You put your phone number. It has to be, uh, the expiration has to be passed with at least a day of the day that you're submitting this form, right? So it needs to be at least seven. So for example, if today is June 30th, it has to be July 1st, right? And uh, again, this is the order bump if you wanna use it. And now you can just test it. And that is the test credit card. It will work as long as your product, yeah, well, we don't have a second page after this. So <laughs> uh, there's nothing, there is nowhere that this this would actually get us, right? So it's, it's, uh, <laughs> 
it's obvious because we only have this page here we don't have another one afterwards but what we can do is we can actually add an order confirmation and once we create that you'll be able to see let's see order form order confirmation okay now let's do it again and let's test it in real time so we still have that one we'll paste doesn't matter again this card is not real so i'm not going to blur it you can use it <laughs> you can use it and uh, click submit and it's going to show us that we purchased the product because we purchased it before even though we didn't get a confirmation now we're getting the product receipt the order confirmation and of course this order confirmation can have the branding can have everything that you want in there you just need to make sure that you're actually branding you brand it and you you change the colors and everything that you want to do all right so that's pretty much what it is regarding um payment processing if you like this video you're gonna love the next in-depth training that i put together for you about click funnels about how to start using the platform and also how to start making money with it so don't go anywhere start binge watching the next video coming up right here on my left and also i'm gonna give you access to a free 297 funnel academy course so i'll see you on the other side